Hi everyone, it's the Billiards Doctor again. Um, we're gonna, I wanted to make this a quick video to talk about chin alignment. Um, more specifically, the height of the chin with respect to the cue. So, um, for most players, like 95, not 95, maybe like 90%, 92% or so of players have their chin at the cue. So they'll go all the way down. They'll go all the way down like this. It allows them to really see the two dimensional plane of the balls. Um, like most players do it that way. Um, there are a couple players such as Chang Yu Lung, Tony Robles, um, I'm blanking out where there's a couple other ones that uh, do this, but Chang Yu Lung is my favorite one to watch who does it like this, where he will actually have his chin pretty far above the cue, like this. And that allows him to see shots a little bit easier. And what I mean by that is when you line up a shot and you're looking from the top and you're trying to cut a ball in or something, you get this three-dimensional view of cue ball, object ball, pocket. You can see the depth and all that stuff a lot better. And you know, a lot of players, when you see them line up a shot, they'll line it up when they're standing, then they'll go down. But if you kind of stay up, you can see it a lot better. Um, so I would recommend trying this. It's not super common. And honestly, if you don't like it, like you don't have to stick with it, but you should try it. Um, I was at the Billiards uh, Collegiate National Tournament and I talked to one of my buddies who's a fantastic pool player. Um, and he was telling me that I should try this because I'm very tall and my form was very compact because I'm so tall. I used to do this like snooker stance form. I was very compact and tight. And I talked earlier about being right eye dominant but left handed. So my bicep was kind of inward and it was just really uncomfortable for me. And he said that I should try having my chin elevated. He said Mark Wilson recommended to him to have his chin elevated. And I said, why, why would I do that? And having your chin elevated gives you more room between your chest and your hand to move. So when you swing, imagine if you're swinging, if you're all the way down here, your, your hand is gonna hit here and it's gonna kind of stop, right? But if you have, you're up, you get much better follow through. You know, all the way through. So like that really helped me a lot. And for me, I do it, I keep, I actually shoot this way. I shoot, I don't shoot as much as, as high as Chang Yu Lung does, but like Chang Yu Lung's probably like up here. I'm probably about here, so I'm a little bit elevated. And I found that being a little elevated lets my arm be a little bit more loose and my elbow to be a little more loose so my forearm can kind of follow through better. And that's really helped my game a lot. So I, I recommend you try it out if you like it. Um, a lot of players will have their chin elevated regardless if they do like a bank shot. Because bank shots, obviously you can see like more stuff if you're elevated, you can see angles easier. So a lot of pool professional pool players may have a big bank shot that they can't, or I mean, not banks, or a kick shot. We need to hit the cue ball off the rail in order to touch a ball, say so you don't scratch or something. And they wanna go like three rails and hit a ball. They will be a little elevated when they hit it because it'll allow them to see more things. So I would recommend giving it a try. Um, but that's like the chin elevation. Another thing that's pretty common is a lot of players will have their chin elevated when they do a break shot. And I'll go through that in a different video, but that's pretty important to do because it allows you to use your chest more during the break shot. Um, but that's basically it about your chin. So give it a try and see what you think of it. This is the Billiards Doctor. Keep uh, watching for more videos.